Hello everybody, today we're going to be focusing on the quads for today's class. We're going to do a bit of strength, stretching, a bit of strengthening. Um, the quads are the front thigh, so the, the muscle over here. Um, very common to be weak in this area, so we'll do a little bit of a well-rounded practice for your quads. Let's get started in downward dog, so hands shoulder width apart, feet hip width apart, tuck the toes. Pipe the hips up towards the ceiling. Full stretch here. If it's your first downward dog, or if it's the morning for you, you can walk out the feet. Right and left, right and left. Take your left foot outside the left hand. Lizard lunge. Step it back, downward dog. Right foot outside the right hand. Lizard lunge. Step back, downward dog. Again, left foot outside the left hand, lizard lunge. Step back, downward dog. Right side, lizard lunge. Step back, downward dog. Okay, this time, step the left foot in between the hands. Take the back knee to the floor. Arms come up for low lunge. Now, in your low lunge, I want you to think, tucking the tailbone underneath, so scoop the pelvis under. And then from here, sink the hips a little bit lower. So you should feel a little bit more stretch in the right thigh. Breathing deeply here. From here, place the right hand on the floor. So the body will lean forward a little bit. Pick up the right toes. Swing the left hand back and catch the heel. Catch the foot. Now, if it's okay for you, pull the heel closer towards your hips and you should feel a deeper quad stretch. Turning the chest to face the left side. See if you can sink the hips a little bit lower. Very good, release. Come back to center. Step it back, downward dog. <clears throat> Switching sides, right foot in between the hands. Back knee to the floor. Arms coming up for low lunge. Now pelvis tucking underneath. So you feel a stretch in the left thigh and then sink a little bit lower. Pelvis tucks underneath, sink a little bit lower, hold here. Now release the left hand to the floor. Pick up the left toes, swing the right hand back and catch. Draw the heel closer towards your hip turning the chest to face the right side. Slowly release, hands to the floor, step it back, downward dog. <clears throat> Take the knees to the floor, and then sitting on your heels, let's bring your knees towards the front of your mat. Okay, from here, stretch the right leg out in front of you. Keep the left leg bent. Now I want you to have both sit bones on the floor and have the left heel outside the right hip. Make sure the toes are pointing back and that the sit bones are on the floor. You can stay here or slowly recline all the way back. You can come onto your elbows, or if it's okay for you, you can come onto your head. Making sure your tailbone is tucked and you would feel a very deep stretch in the left thigh. If it's too much for you, you, you can come up onto your elbows. Breathe deeply here. Pushing through the upper arms, slowly come up. And then switch, slowly release. Left leg straight, right leg comes in. Now make sure your heel is outside your hip. The toes are pointing straight back and the two sit bones are on the floor. Slowly recline back, however much you can take. 
coming onto your elbows or coming all the way down. It's okay if your knee doesn't touch the floor. We want to feel the stretch in the front thigh. Make sure the toes are pointing back and that the heel is close to your hip. Good, slowly release, coming back up. Both legs straight. Okay, so sitting tall, both legs straight. Let's place the hands behind your back. So in line with your hip here. From here, keep the legs straight, point your toes and lift the left foot off the floor. Hover the left foot off the floor, hold and release. Right side, point the right toes, keep the leg straight, lift the right leg off the floor. And release. So you might feel a cramping sensation on your thighs. This is trying to strengthen the front thighs here. Point the left toes, left side, left leg comes up. And release, right side. And release. Good, lean forward a bit more. Right, le left side. And release, right side. And release, one more round, left. And release, right. Good, and release, very good. Bend the knees, butterfly shape, fold forward. Okay, last one. We're gonna come onto your knees. So knees together, untuck the toes and have your hands on your hips. From here, push your hips forward. So you want to scoop the tailbone underneath. Keeping the back flat, we're going to lean the upper body back as much as you can. So you feel a stretch in your thighs, you feel the thighs working, and come back up. Now what you don't want is you don't want to arch the back and then come this way. For this one, if you arch the back too much, all of the pressure is gonna go into your low back. So make sure you keep the pelvis tilted underneath. All of the weight comes into your thighs. You use the thighs to lead you back, thighs and core. Good, and come back up. We have five more. So pelvis must tilt underneath as you lean back. Good, and back to center for four. Good, four, three. Back to center, two. Good, one more, last one. Come to your lowest. Now stay at your lowest. Take the arms out in front of you, hold for five. Lean back a little more for four, three, two, one. Come back to center, release the arms. Have a seat on your mat. Very nice, inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. One more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, release. That is it for today. Thank you for joining me on the mat.